Hello everyone, this is Dave Robbins with End Time Ministries and the End Time Show. And I'm reporting from our last night here in Jerusalem. We're going to head to a hotel in Netanya, north of Tel Aviv tomorrow morning. But I wanted to tell everybody that it is calm here. I can say now that I've lived through two missile attacks and that the Iron Dome uh, has intercepted all of the missiles except for two. One of them fell in a neighborhood <clears throat> that was just by where we toured a couple days ago, and one of them fell on a mosque. But um, that's something I couldn't say before I come on this trip. However, I'm asking you that you certainly would pray for Israel the IDF forces down in Gaza. It's a horrific situation down there. And Israel, from what we're being told, is now going to go on the offensive. And as soon as they get the emergency government established, they're going to go in and they are absolutely going to obliterate uh, Hamas down there in Gaza. They've also started, I think Hezbollah has now started firing rockets and different things into Israel from the north up on the Lebanese border. And so Israel's going to take care of business up there as well. So I feel safe here. I know God's with us. I've been in prayer. Our whole group has been in prayer. We're going to Netanya tomorrow. And I've got a huge group of individuals that want to be baptized in the Jordan River. I'm going to attempt to go do that. I know God's with us. I know that's God's will. And so if I can't baptize them there, I'm going to take them out in the, sea, in the Mediterranean Sea and baptize them there. We were able to go to the, not up to the upper room, but we were able to go there and talk outside the upper room today. We went to the Wailing Wall. But I know that God's got his hands upon us. And I know this, because we understand Bible prophecy, I know Israel and Jerusalem is going to be here all the way throughout. Because I understand Bible prophecy, it has helped to ease my mind being here. It's a horrific situation. They're in a state of war. However, because of the prophecies, I know I'm st we're still in a safe place here in the central part of Israel. So thank God I understand Bible prophecy and I've been able to talk to some different people about that as we've been here. Uh, and it's been a calming thing for me. And so I'm very thankful for that. But I believe that we're seeing maybe some of the, some of the um, ways that the great tribulation will happen. Some of the mindsets and different things, what happens to Israel. I do not believe that it was a coincidence that we were here at this time because I know some different things are going to happen uh, with the Great Tribulation. And it, Jesus said, let them which be in Judea flee. The Judean hills are just on the other side of the Mount of Olives, which is, that's what starts the West Bank. And that's within a couple miles of where I'm standing right now. I'm on the rooftop of my hotel here in Jerusalem. So pray for the peace of Israel. Pray that we're able to get on our flight Sunday morning early and that we can get home to our families. We love you guys, God is with us, and God bless each and every one of you. And I'll tell you right now, I don't care whether Joe Biden's the president or who's the president, I love the United States of America and I'm ready to get home back to some Mexican food. God bless y'all.